Dr. Makwili. It's raining outside and Dr. Makwili is having fun running through the puddles. She looks at her reflection and at the rings in the water. This is so fun! And this is her robot, Handy. He's bought an umbrella. Dr. McQueenie forgot to take her umbrella and is continuing to get soaked in the rain. Finally, she has returned home. Dr. McQueely, you look very tired. And you have a cough. Oh, I see. You've caught a cold. Handy, you need to call a doctor. What? A fever and a cough? We will send you an ambulance. Please wait. Handy, you can stop worrying now. This is an ambulance. She's hurrying to the court. She's turned on her siren so the other cars will give way. The ambulance has arrived. Now the doctor will examine Dr. McQueen. Tell me, what's the matter? The sore throat, of course. Now, let's take your temperature. We need a thermometer like this. Look, at the moment it's reading zero. But when the thermometer is heated, the number on the screen changes. The average temperature of a healthy person is 36 and 6. And what is the temperature for Dr. McQueen? 38 and 7. She has a fever. Now we need to see your throat. It's red. Dr. McQueary, you've definitely caught a cold. Here's your medicine and vitamins. And eat healthy food, drink warm tea with lemon, and you'll be okay. Thank you, clever doctor. Now Dr. McQueely needs to sleep. Dr. McQueely. This is Dr. McQueely's garage. Today she has a new visitor, a new blue car. What's wrong, little car? You're not broken anywhere. You're tired of looking like this? Do you want to change something? Hmm, let me think. Why don't we make you into a limo? It's very easy to do. Look! This is our car now. We divide it in half. Insert an additional section and secure it firmly and you little car will become a limo. Let's get to work. First let's remove all the doors. One, two, 
three, four. And now the crucial moment. We need to cut the car in half. Put on a welding helmet, Doctor, and pick up your tool. Be very careful. Don't damage anything. Excellent! Now raise both parts of the car and move them apart. We have a space for the additional section now. Lower it down just like this. Now we need to weld everything securely so there are no cracks and the car will be like new. Done! All the parts are firmly attached. And now it's time for the interior. Let's put in a sofa for the passengers. And put the doors back. Hooray! Our limo is ready. Look how long it is. Let's go for a drive. The blue car liked being a limo a lot. And Dr. McHealy liked her job. I wonder who will come and see me next time, she thought. Dr. McWheely. Look, Dr. McQueely and her robot are playing chess. Pay more attention, Handy. It's checkmate. A very difficult game, Handy thought. Let's try again. Oh, the phone is ringing. It's a jeep. Smoke is coming from under its hood. It's time to go. We need to fix the SUV. The jeep has broken down in the real desert. Look, Dr. McQueely is driving on the sand in her ATV. It has big wheels. And it also has a navigation system, which shows Dr. McQueely's position. Here is the Jeep. Hello Jeep. Let's see what's happened. Oh, I see. You've overheated. It's very hot in the desert. The coolant has evaporated because of the high temperature. With this heat, even Dr. McQueely can overheat. Put on your hat. Great! Now let's find some water. Take the water canister, we'll go to the oasis.
everything will be fine. We will cool down the engine with the water. The jeep is saved. Now we can go home. Until next time. Dr. McWheely. A little yellow car with a big trailer is driving on the road. You can live in a trailer like this. And there are suitcases on the roof of the car. I see. It's a caravan. I think it needs a map. Look, it's lost and is driving in circles. We must help it, thought Dr. McQueely. Wait, yellow car. What's the matter? You don't know where to go. You need a navigator. The little yellow car has come to McQueely's garage. Here's a present for you. Let's open the box. This is a satellite navigation system, GPS. It's a radio and a computer in one. High above us, above the clouds, above the earth itself, there are satellites. They continually transmit signals to the ground, giving information about the GPS's position. The GPS receiver receives the signal. The computer processes it and shows the position of the car in which it is installed. Let's turn it on and put it in the yellow car. Now remove the old radio. We no longer need it. And put the GPS in its place. Make sure it's on. The red sign shows where the car is. The grey lines show the roads. And this is how we select the place we want to go. Look, the navigator has drawn the route. It will tell the car where to turn. Now the caravan won't get lost again. Have a nice trip. See you soon. Bye. Dr. McWheely. This is Dr. McQueely's garage. A huge tank has come here. What happened to you, tank? The tank told her that he had travelled and fired a lot.
but he doesn't want to do it anymore. Now he wants to do something good and useful. But how can he do that? Don't worry, Tank. We'll figure something out. Do you want to be a tractor? Let's remove the gun. Without it, it's much easier to drive and turn. Do you know how track type vehicles turn? A normal car needs to turn the front wheels to go in the right direction. Like this. And track type vehicles move in a different way. They also have wheels. But they don't drive on the road, they drive on a special track train. If a tank needs to turn, the wheels on one side have to turn forwards and the wheels on the other side backwards or not turn at all. So what else isn't necessary? The machine gun and the armoured plating. A tractor doesn't fight. Instead, you need a cabin. Thank you, Handy. Let's install it. Also, you need a fuel tank, an exhaust pipe, and lights. Hooray! All done! Let's go outside. So, what can a tractor do? Plough fields. Let's give you a plough. Done. You can go to work now. Look, the tank has become a great tractor. Goodbye, Dr. Mudgwili. Until next time. <laughs>